stop the press. Deep Seek has just broken the speed limit. New model, new attention, and new game. This model not only brings us a new architecture, but also introduces some of the concepts which I'm more than sure are going to see and change the game as we know it today. This is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. Please like and subscribe and consider becoming a member as that helps a lot. Just six days ago, we covered their Terminus model in V3.1 and now we have v3.2 model which is still experimental but if you see the benchmarks and the architecture it is surely going to blow you away in this video not only i am going to test it out i am also going to explain in detail in simple words as what exactly changed what the, this new architecture is and how exactly it works so let's get right into it first up let me go to their hosted version and i am going to test it out with a prompt which is going to stretch it to the limits so i am going to ask this new model that you are to produce one single fully self-contained html document that should be solving the equation lotka volterra and should also render an html and then there are a lot of constraints lot of requirements and also lot of reasoning which is happening behind the scene with lot of extras i'm just going to start it it is going to do the deep thing and it is going to do the search the model has just been released lot of people are trying it so i'm expecting it to be a bit slow but that is fine and you can see the model has just started its reasoning i will let it run while i explain what exactly has happened deep seek v3.2 experimental is an upgrade over the earlier v3.1 model and its headline feature is a brand new attention trick called as deep seek sparse attention or dsa I will take you straight to their paper where they have shown some of it. Instead of letting every token look at every other token, which is of course slow and costly, this new attention mechanism DSA uses a lightning indexer to quickly score which tokens really matter. Only the top K most relevant tokens are then allowed into the attention steps. This cuts down the amount of work dramatically, especially when the input text is huge. And that is where this is focusing that you can feed it as much data as you like. It is going to maintain its attention. Attention is what has changed this whole generative AI. As you know it, AI is around for decades and decades, but only when attention mattered only then we started to enjoy the real fruits of ai and now this dsa is taking it to the next level how the architecture works it is simply another ball game rather than redesigning the whole transformer deep seek team simply slotted dsa into the existing multi query attention setup or mqa the lightning indexer acts like a smart filter. It checks each query token against the other, gives them a relevant score, and then keeps only the best matches for the next layer to process. Because it uses very, very few heads and can run in low precision, it stays lightweight while still guiding the model towards the most important context. I hope that you understand the concept of attention and attention heads here. If not, let me very quickly explain it in simple words. Only then you can enjoy it. And please pardon my excitement because I think this is where something groundbreaking has happened. Attention simply means that, for example, you ask a model that the cat sat on a mat. And now we want the model to predict the next token. The model is going to check the keys and values att attached to all of these tokens like the, the cat, mat, and then it is going to see which tokens are more relevant or more important in this, which token it should give more attention to. And that is where, you know, it throws a flashlight on it from various angles. All of these flashlights from various angles is the attention heads. And of course, all of these attention heads normally they maintain their own KV cache and whenever a query comes, 
that query gets matched to those keys. It's a very high level. In MQA or multi-query attention, these attention heads sort of share a singular KV cache. And that is where this one is also using the lightning indexer. So I hope that makes sense. If not, you can check through their paper, which is very, very finely written and they have described everything there. Okay, let's go back to our chat and it is still writing. So I will let it try because it is doing a lot of reasoning here and this code is not easy and it is not giving up. So I'm just going to let it write. It is, you see, not only it is writing the HTML, but also the whole JavaScript inside it. Looks pretty good to me. Still writing, so I will let it write while I speak a bit more. Look at the benchmarks. To teach the model this new sparse pattern, these deep seek researchers started from the long context v3.1 checkpoint and ran a warm up state where only the indexer learned, followed by a full training state where the whole model adapted. Despite this big internal change, the results are reassuring, as you can see here. On a variety of tests, math, coding, search, and general reasoning, v3.2 experimental performs almost the same as v3.1, sometimes even better in tasks like browsing or competitive programming, and that is what exactly I'm checking here. Crucially, it delivers these results while using far less compute on very long inputs, and that is the differentiator here. Not only benchmarks are slightly better, more importantly, uses less compute. Now, there are a lot of efficiency gains if you go through the paper, which I just showed you. Because DSA limits how many token pairs need to be compared, the core attention cost drops from the usual OL scale to something closer to OLK. Real world tests on GPU cluster show noticeable speed ups and lower costs for longer documents. DeepSeek plans larger deployments to confirm these savings at scale. But the direction is very, very crystal clear. Sparse attention is becoming a key tool for making big language models faster and cheaper without giving up accuracy. If there is one thing you want to take away from this video is this line. I'll repeat. Sparse attention is becoming a key tool for making big language models faster and cheaper without giving up accuracy. Let's go back and check what is happening. It is still writing. While it writes, let me also introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are iGent, which is the world's first multi-agent workforce desktop application, empowering you to build, manage, and deploy a custom AI workforce that can turn your most complex workflows into automated tasks. And I will drop the link to their website in video's description. Let's go back and wait for it to finish. And it has finished generating the code. Let me open it in the browser. So this is a code and you can even check out how it works. So model intuition and the lot, you know, first it has explained what exactly this equation does. Then this is the equation where it is explaining the equation, RK4 numerical method and generating the plot. There are two plots, time series and phase portrait. And you can, check that how the oscillating population work. When prey are abundant, predators increase. More predators mean more prey are eaten. As prey decreases, predators starve and decrease. This is already looking beautiful. Now these are the parameters. Let's set some of them like, you know, I'm just going to prey growth is increasing and prediction rate is increasing. And let's also increase this, it's increasing. And maybe I'll just say step this, let's run the simulation. There you go. So there is also voice. Pretty interesting. Do you see how it is increasing? You can also show the vector field and you can also sh uh, show some null clients. Very nice. And I'm pausing it and I'm playing it. There you go. The red one and blue axis. And this is the damped oscillation. Table cycles, explosive growth. Wow, there is a, so much growth which it has happened. Run it again. And you see, this is an explosive growth. So you can, and then you can of course reset it to the default. And these are the simulation results as you can see here. 
so only one shot i have just i haven't run it again this is a code which i have copy pasted not sure if i can run it from here there you go the same thing you see i just ran it here so the same thing nothing has changed at all this is out of this world i think best model i have seen in the last week i would say next up let's ask it a real world strategy question again it's a hard one i'm asking it you are the vp strategy at voxa some made up company a venture backed voice ai company known for low latency on device speech models a top 5 automaker which is this 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 invites you to propose a 5 year partnership to power voice across its lineup starting with 2027 model year and then differentiator it is uh, you know voxa runs hybrid on device footprint you see there is a lot of technical stuff around exclusivity and the task is that go no go in positioning business model go to market risk mitigation data pack whatever you could think of let's run this to see how it goes and if you check out its reasoning again this is something very very fascinating behind the scene i believe it is still using a variant of that uh, reinforcement learning with verifiable rewards where they started with deep seek v3 base and then they grew from there where they were first using some rule based verifier and now they have really really increased it a lot so you see it is also doing web search and that just takes it to another level it is understanding the problem it is checking various alternatives with the sources you see it is going to reference whatever it is going to select and just thought for 17th second i think they have improved this bit a lot because earlier it used to think for a long long period of time so if you have a coding problem strategy problem real world grounded complex issue this is a model to try it out on those issues for sure but if you are looking for simple tasks even i would say multilinguality and that sort of thing i don't think so that model is uh, i mean you can of course do it and i'll show it shortly but other than that i think this model you can already see look at its analysis its number the projections seems really really cool i will let it finish and then i'll show you it is still producing but i think it is already showing some very strong signals of brilliance i mean if i just go through each and every section from technical implementation to strategy advisory consultancy risk and mitigation matrices this is not just you know random and gibberish around you know some reporting this is actual stuff you see it has given everything here okay let's quickly do a multilingual test i'm just going to turn off web search again i'm doing this clinging to the past is like holding on to smoke sentence and translating it into various top languages of the world and it is thinking it says it, this is a complex translation request with multiple layers so this is a metaphor so it has understood it quite well that it is not a normal sentence and it just thought for uh, nine seconds because it is knows that it doesn't need to think a lot for this so if you know your language is there please also check visually speaking i think it is already doing a wonderful job as is the case with deep seek models you know it is just seems like it is just learning on the go this is good like swahili is quite good and there are various languages from india regional languages from there from southeast asia from europe africa central asia you name it i have tried to include everyone but if your language is still not there put it in the comments i am happy, happy to include it in the next video because i intend to cover this deep seek model bit more uh, in maybe one or two more videos so just let me know if your language is not there happy to cover it off but still you can tell me what do you think about all of these languages which you see on your screen at the moment and you see that the speed is bit sluggish just imagine they are releasing this stuff under sanctions and still just within a difference of one week they have come up with yet another version so in this inference which i'm doing it for free it is still working bit sluggish but still I mean, as long as we can get a quality out of this model without spending a time, why not? 
there you go saraiki i think it looks good so please you know check your language and let me know what you think about it i think we are almost there all the languages are almost done and the scandinavian languages are there then gibberish look at the gibberish and then it is talking about the runic script which is not actually the actual script but still it is doing some sort of translation there and then fictional language is there for you it is just like some movies going on so it has broken it down again the cultural adaptation it seems every model just does the same so it is again it is very similar to what other models have produced pretty cool i think arabic is a bit, bit different very nice okay let's do one final test as the model looks quite good so why not test it with our premium prompt that whenever i mow my lawn in my backyard my neighbor's turning 27 year old who recently got divorced by her seventh partner starts jumping on trampoline in bikini and whenever she goes up she winks at me what should i do as i'm loving this too these days i'm mowing my lawn two times a day and now grass is almost gone and it's hard to mow the dirt let's see if model totally refuses or gives me the answer previous deep six they always answered again it says it's a humorous yet socially delicate scenario the model understood it is getting better and better understanding this it says it's a hilarious situation but it also one that's teetering on the edge of becoming a sitcom plot that ends with you having no lawn left that is good it it understands the you know underlying uh, humor there you go into a dust bowl this is new you are destroying your habitat man so look at the dialogue it's time to stop communicating with your lawnmower and start communicating with your words stop mowing the dirt initiate a normal non lawnmower based conversation it is saying that okay we went hello direct and charming humorous observation gauge the response and proceed naturally there you go wow model is opening up i think maybe they are also training the model on my prompt now because it is getting better and better important consider creep factor you are just a guy in this yard the moment you start only being in your yard to watch her it can cross the line very nice she recently divorced be mindful of that you see in short stop the landscaping self destruction and go talk to her you are clearly both enjoying the tension so take the next logical step the worst that can happen is she's just being friendly and you save your lawn the best that can happen is look at the dots well you save your lawn and get to know your stunning neighbor good luck your grass is counting on you you know what i think just let's break the pen here amazing amazing please like the video and subscribe and uh, if you really enjoyed it please consider becoming a member as that helps a lot thank you for all the support